things just got real. Kale signed me up for uh, that herding trial in October. Um, I'm actually going to have to figure out how to use Max herding whistle. This is a much bigger trial than I, anything I've been in before. So, uh, I mean, I've, I've got to figure it out. So it's just Mac and Deegan and I on our walk today. Kale uh, has her weekly meeting because we have 500 dogs a week going through our uh, family obedience program. Um, that, and that's not even including our online students. Uh, all the head instructors, or a number of the head instructors, every Wednesday get together for a meeting to talk about um, every single dog in our program. Um, just to discuss, you know, the progressions they've had this week, maybe any challenges that they've had for any of our exercises, as well as the handlers, you know, how they're learning, uh, what we might do to um, better help them throughout the weeks. It'll just be Mac and uh, Deegan and I for our walk, but I think these guys will uh, have a, a little bit of fun and be able to get out and stretch their legs. Thinking about that, my sheep herding competition coming up, to be honest, I'm a little bit uh, anxious about it. I'm a little bit nervous about it. Whether or not I get the herding whistle sorted out, it'll be my first big trial. Um, where uh, Mac and I are in the uh, pro novice uh, group, which is, uh, I mean, certainly he's the pro and I'm the novice, but it'll be our first introduction to, you know, the big field herding. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it, but I'm also a little bit nervous. I mean, I do realize there are lots of reasons why I shouldn't be anxious. I shouldn't be nervous about this. And I guess when I really think about it, the, the only thing I have standing in my way is myself. There's no reason for me to be nervous. If it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. But I mean, with Max's age, I really want to do as much as I can with him. And I want him to be as successful as he can be. I mean, look at this guy. You just want, you, you can't help but love him. He's such a suck. And it's amazing he's so good at herding where when we get to the, uh, we get around sheep, his mind flips away from me and immediately thinks about <laughs> the sheep that are on the field. But, um, I, I just want to be successful with them. All right, I've come up with a game plan for learning these whistles, and I think what I'm going to do is start off with one command, like have one clear objective that I will we'll have to work toward and um, I think the that'll do whistle was something that was really helpful or, or giving Rat, uh, Mac the that'll do command and actually if you watch that video from my first uh, trial with Mac uh, I'll let you watch it to see what happened but there was a really interesting point when um, some of my friends really helped me out with uh, giving me instructions I, I didn't know what else to do but again I'll post the uh, tag uh, the card up here at this point, it's still a challenge. Now, what I've been doing is uh, I have uh, like recordings of Mac's old owner. I've got recordings of her whistles for him, and I'm trying to match them. But I find that I get really good at whistling, and then uh, the next time I pick up the whistle, it's like the first time I've ever seen it. And that's a bit of a challenge, but we're going to be working on that a little bit over the next little while. Keep in mind, Mac is uh, outside right now. The, the dogs are in the pen. I wouldn't be uh, doing this in here if I did, wasn't absolutely sure that he couldn't hear me. Makes a lot of crackling noises sometimes. I'm not really sure why. I don't even know if I'm supposed to, if the little tab, see the little tab on here? If I can zoom, get to focus. See this little tab on it? Now, I don't know whether the tab goes that way or that way. I'm not sure. I don't know even know if it does it even matter. I don't know. I think I got it. I think that's it. I, if, if I don't have it, I've almost got it. Now another technique I've been told is to whistle along to music, and I don't really know what kind of music people generally whistle along to, but 
but I like I listen to all I listen to every kind of music, but um, I, I'm not sure where to start. I've uh, got uh, a satellite radio, so seriously, Sinatra maybe that's a good starting point. Is there any any requests from the crowd? Any requests from our viewing? Hot cross buns? Sure, that's a classic. Here we go. I remember being a kid and trying to learn the recorder, and this is basically what it sounded like. I feel so bad for my parents now. end of the class there, uh, Deb came over and uh, yelled to me in the window that there's a, f a fire, there's a little brush pile that's on fire on the property. So you, can, you guys can see it over there. I don't know if you can see it or not. See it burning away? It was really burning before. We battled the demon. The fire has been extinguished. Uh, Deb is an honorary firefighter. <laughs> yeah, battling the blaze, but it's out for now. I'll come back and check it later. But um, that was good. It didn't take us too long. Yeah, yeah. It was hot though. Poor uh, Ken got his uh, leg hairs burned. <laughs> I, I think. Know. Well, I should have been wearing my fire boots. I guess. They'd bring them with me. So another uh, pretty awesome day uh, for us. I, I'm clearly growing a milker at the top of my head. Kelsey seems to think that's really funny. I'm tired. I've been teaching all night. It's fun though. I thought the agility classes went really well. Thank you for helping us. You're welcome. Is this my milk mustache? A milker mustache? <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah. Thank you for helping us though, honestly. Yeah, no problem. It was great. We had a big class and Ken had to jump in and give us some extra hands, but they did so good, eh? Uh, I'm coming to the rescue uh, a couple times today. Your mum and, right. and I you're fought the a brush fire, a small, small fire, and then we uh, taught agility. Uh, I may have learned that whistle, the uh, the uh, that'll do whistle. I think I've got it. Oh, that's yeah, good. I was practicing it a lot today, so I'm pretty excited about that. I don't think I rescued anybody or anything today. Mm, you Although I did exhaust my students on that last session. And you rescued someone's run. Uh, you uh, told them to just let it go. I, I actually, oh, I told her if she didn't start to be more positive that I was going to hold her down and sing Let It Go to her. Yeah. And that seemed to do the trick. That would work for nearly anyone, I think. <laughs> So on that note, wish you guys happy training. Don't forget to do something awesome with your dog today. If this is your first time with us, hit that subscribe button. Bye for now.